Hello everyone, short recap here, and today we'll be talking about a fantasy action film called Journey to the West, Conquering the Demons. Make sure to press like and subscribe for more. A long time ago in a fishing village of China, a little girl is playing on the edges of a lake while her father prepares to start the day's work. Seeing that the girl is upset that her old man is leaving again, he goes into the water and begins playing around, turning her tears into smiles again. Suddenly, the man begins convulsing chaotically inside the lake and eventually gets dragged around through the water by something from below. The girl continues to laugh, not realizing that her father is in danger until the man disappears, leaving only blood inside the water. The villagers quickly hire a demon hunter who begins chanting and throwing bombs inside the lake, causing a large explosion inside the water as everyone looks in amazement. They are able to capture a giant stingray, and the hunter claims that this creature was possessed by a demon who's responsible for killing the man from earlier. The people are extremely thankful that the monster is caught, but a person inside the crowd tells them that the fish is not a demon, only a common stingray. Apparently, the man's name is Tang, who's also a demon hunter and a monk's apprentice. The other demon hunter hears this and quickly accuses Tang as being an accomplice with the demon, causing the villagers to attack the man furiously, eventually tying him up as punishment. Everyone begins jumping into the water, believing that it's safe, while Tang watches hopelessly at the people. Their celebration is quickly ended when a woman gets devoured by a giant beast, as everyone looks in disbelief. The people begin rushing back to shore, believing that they're safe as long as they're out of the water but they're quickly proven wrong as the monster grabs the villagers using its tongue. The little girl from before tries to run towards her mother, but the creature takes the chance and grabs onto the child, trying to drag her into the water. The villagers run to help the little girl and cut off the monster's tongue while catching her on the edge of the bridge, but the creature jumps up and takes the girl inside its mouth. The mother becomes furious and jumps down into the lake, trying desperately to save her daughter, while Tang begins using his teeth to free himself from the ropes. She's paralyzed with fear when she sees the giant monster appearing from the water, trembling with anger as it stares at the woman. She begs the creature to return her child, but the demon only responds by devouring her as well. The monster breaks the buildings nearby, causing all the people to lose their balance while a baby slides towards the lake, away from his mother. Luckily, Tang is able to break free and jumps down near the platform, making the baby slide towards him instead. He grabs the infant as the giant creature launches towards him, but Tang manages to escape in time and traps the monster on the platform, using the creature's weight to jump towards the people. Tang gives the child back to his mother, but only sees that the fake demon hunter is hiding like a, an enormous girl runs out from the crowds, causing earthquakes with every step she takes and jumps down towards the monster. The massive woman lands on the platform and sends the creature flying into the air, landing right on top of the fake demon hunter before he can escape. The creature begins transforming back slowly, eventually turning into a young man who appears to be harmless. The villager sees this and tries to kill the demon, but Tang stops the violence and offers a better way. The man takes out a bunch of instruments and then a book that's called The 300 Nursery Rhymes, preparing to unleash his musical talents in order to change the monster from evil to good. Tang begins singing horrifically, which confuses the demon and the audience at the same time. The man's lyrics and performance were so bad that it drives the creature into madness as the demon begins beating on the man furiously and smashing everything around him. Before Tang is killed, a woman grabs the demon and begins beating on the creature, eventually sealing the monster into a magical cloth and turning it into a doll. It turns out that the woman's name is Duan, and she's one of the demon hunters as well. But when Tang shows her the tools that he used to conquer the monsters, the woman laughs at him hysterically, while all the villagers thank her for being their true savior. Tang is upset at the failure, but his master tells him that it's never easy to change evil into goodness. He tells the monk that there is a second demon that he must conquer, who lives in a nearby restaurant and uses human flesh as cooking materials. At night, Tang arrives at the demon's restaurant and enters the building, only to see that it's full of people who are enjoying their meals. He's greeted by a woman who begins to show him around, but Tang is able to see through the illusions right away and tells her to show her true form. The demon charges at Tang as he runs in fear, but he's saved when Duan shows up and punches the woman repeatedly, eventually turning her into dust. She begins attacking everyone in the restaurant, breaking the demons apart one by one, using her rings. The woman shouts for the boss to come out as a young man sneaks behind her, but Duan counters immediately and begins fighting the demon as they exchange furious attacks. The woman is able to gain the advantage and punches the man across the room. 
She then summons numerous rings and begins firing them at the demon, aiming purposely at the man's face, eventually breaking his skin and revealing the snout of a pig. The demon begins blocking all her attacks using the rig and closing the distance towards the woman. He swings at Duan furiously, forcing the woman to defend herself, but is able to strike into her flesh while she escapes right before impact. Duan jumps behind the creature and begins kicking him, forcing the monster to reveal its true form, which turns out to be a demon pig. She locks the creature's arms and prevents him from moving, while shouting for Tang to come and help. Duan has locked the demon's essence inside his throat and requires Tang to suck it out from the pig. The man tries to conjure up enough courage to complete the task, but finds it extremely difficult after looking at the monster's hideous face. Luckily, Tang falls by accident in this madness and kisses the pig, sucking the demon inside his mouth. Duan quickly takes the essence from the man and puts it inside her bag of sealing. However, the demon is too powerful to be contained and begins to grow larger, eventually breaking free and showing its monstrous form. The two quickly runs away as the entire building crashes down. They're able to escape the demon as they arrive beside a lake. Duan falls down from the pain of her injuries and proceeds to demonstrate her female assets right in front of the main character. The lucky man gets even luckier when she tells him to put pressure on her wounds and stop the bleeding, which Tang was able to do at the cost of bleeding himself, but it doesn't seem like he minds very much. When Duan closes her eyes and leans in for a kiss, the man suddenly realizes that he's a monk and runs away from the woman immediately most likely not wanting to pay for any child support in the future. The next day, Tang goes back to his master, telling the old man that he failed once again. The master tells the young man that in order to conquer the pig monster, he must go to the king of all demons for help. Apparently, this powerful entity is known as Wu Kan, who was locked up 500 years ago under a great mountain by the gods for causing havoc in the heaven. At night, while traveling inside the forest, Tang runs into a trap set by a group of people who appears to be extremely hostile but it turns out that they're all working for Duan, and she plans to force the monk to marry her no matter what. However, Tang refuses, claiming that he can't love her as the monk's code dictates that he can't have romantic feelings for a single person. In a fit of rage, Duan locks the man inside her prison while thinking about what to do next. Her sister tries to convince her to be more feminine and use her dancing to attract the man, but after seeing her terrifying moves, the woman puts a talisman on Duan and plans to control her movements while seducing the monk. Duan goes to the monk as planned, but things quickly go wrong as the charm begins to malfunction, causing the woman to strike the main character repeatedly until the charm accidentally flies onto the man. The woman runs out of the room in guilt, but at the same time, the sister begins dancing, causing Tang to shake his body exactly like her in front of the guards who rushed in. The man sees the monk's ridiculous moves and proceeds to beat him up once again only stopping when the sister runs inside after realizing that something's wrong. Their fun is cut short when they see that the pig demon has arrived, and the group quickly goes on their vehicle and tries to run desperately for their lives. However, the pig is able to catch up and charges directly at the group. Duan sees this and pushes the monk off the car before the demon crashes into the group and breaking everything apart. Luckily, no one got hurt in the crash but they're quickly cornered by the demon as it plans to take vengeance on their guild leader for their previous battle. Suddenly, a man with a tiger's aura charges towards the monster and begins to overpower it, tossing the creature in the air and landing a devastating kick, forcing the demon to run. It turns out that the man is also a demon hunter, and he's accompanied by the mighty foot, alongside Prince Important, and his four beautiful nannies throwing flowers all the time. However, his servants are terrible at following orders, and embarrasses him continuously by calling him Prince Important. The three begins fighting for the right to take down the pig demon, which greatly angers Tang, claiming that they're only doing this for money and vanity, not worthy of being a true demon hunter. The monk tells Duan to give him back the nursery rhymes that she took, and begins yelling at her for wasting his time. This causes the woman to become furious as she rips the book into pieces and throwing it in the air. She begins hitting Tang with anger and tells him that he's nothing without her, as he would have been killed a long time ago. Tang gets up in silence and sees that Duan is trying to flirt with the prince in order to make him jealous but begins walking away as the girl looks at him in sadness. After traveling for a long time through the country, Tang eventually arrives on a mountain where it's covered in lily pads despite the absence of water. He sees a large lily flower grown through from what appears to be a hole and proceeds to jump in, only to find a crazy-looking man who hugs and kisses him repeatedly. Tang realizes that this must be Wukong and tries to ask him for help in defeating the pig demon. 
but the man is only interested in leaving his place and tries desperately to trick the monk into removing the seal, claiming that it's capable of capturing the monster. However, Tang does not fall for the petty tricks, causing Wukong to try to escape in frustration. But the roots in the cave traps the demon inside and begins whipping him for disobedience. Tang begins to feel sorry for the man and offers him a banana, which softens the demon's demeanor as he begins telling the monk how to defeat the pig monster. Because the pig demon used to love his wife tremendously, they need to get a beautiful woman to dance under the moonlight, which will attract the monster towards the cave, allowing Wukong to trap it inside as well. Suddenly, Duan jumps into the cave after hearing about their plan and offers to be the bait for the pig demon. Tang sees the woman and tells her to get out, but Wukong begins flirting with her as he teaches her to dance. It's very obvious that the monk truly does love the woman, as he feels great discomfort at the sight of their affectionate display. At night, Duan begins dancing below the moonlight as the monk plays the music for her. The man watches the woman as he falls deeper in love with every move that she makes. Suddenly, they hear a monstrous roar and sees that the pig demon has arrived. Wu Kong begins talking with the creature from inside the cave, causing the monster to peek under the lilies, only to be sucked in completely by the ceiling of the gods. Duan turns the pig demon into a doll and gives it to Tang, allowing him to control the fates of the demons that she captured. She puts a ring on the monk and tells him that it's permanent, as she plans to marry him. But Tang becomes extremely upset and rather cut off his own finger than be in a relationship with her. Duan sees this and takes off the ring herself and tries to give back the nursery rhyme that she glued back together. But the monk refuses the book in anger. The woman sees the man's conviction and leaves in tears, promising to not follow him anymore in the future. Tang walks out from the cave and looks towards the moon in sadness, suffering from the pain of his true feelings. He hears Wu Kong asking for a favor to remove the lily flower which blocks the entrance, as he wants to enjoy the moonlight as well. The monk cuts off the flower, but immediately notices something wrong as all the lilies are consumed in flames. Wu Kong laughs maniacally inside the cave before finally breaking free in the ball of fire that lands directly in front of the monk. He grabs the man and tosses him away like a ragdoll, before catching him again under the mountain, mocking the man for being so easily tricked to unleash the demon king. Tang tells the monkey demon that he hasn't escaped, as the Buddha is watching everything even at this moment. In a fit of rage, Wukong begins ripping off the monk's hair violently, eventually leaving nothing behind, but is furious that the man's belief is still intact. Suddenly, the demon feels a presence behind and sees that the three demon hunters have arrived. The Fist of the North Star prepares to attack the demon king, but Wukong launches forward and quickly kills the man as he bites down on the hunter's throat. The Mighty Foot sees this and begins transforming, growing a giant leg the size of a school bus and kicks the monkey demon using immense force, knocking him backwards. The old man jumps in the air and stomps at Wukong, but the Monkey King pierces right through the feet and kicks the hunter into the air, sending him right on top of the prince. The man tells the nannies to throw away the old man and begins throwing numerous swords at the demon. Wukong is forced to escape into the air as the weapons continue to follow and attack wherever he goes. The demon takes out his weapon as well and begins knocking the swords away, but the prince combines all the weapons into one and sends it flying towards the monkey. The attack was so powerful that it begins breaking apart the demon's staff, but eventually hits a wall when it makes contact with the monkey and gets shattered into pieces. Wukong roars at the attackers furiously, creating a shockwave that turns the demon hunters into dust. He turns the attention towards the monk, but surprisingly, Duan jumps out and begins defending the man even after what he said to her. The woman begins attacking Wukong using her rings, but the weapons all shatter into pieces after hitting the demon king. She charges towards the monkey, but Wukong easily stops her by striking her head and sends her flying backward. Tan crawls towards the woman and Duan whispers to him, asking if he ever loved her. The monk begins crying helplessly and tells Duan that he always loved her ever since the first time they met. Hearing the man's confession, Duan finally dies with tears in her eyes while Tan holds her and kisses her taking her ring and putting it on his finger. Before the man can finish mourning, Wukong takes the girl's body and throws it in the air, blasting it into a million pieces. Suddenly, Demon feels something wrong and retreats immediately, only to see that Tan has finally let go of all mortal attachment. The monk begins reading the book that Duan put together, and chanting to the words inside, creating a massive Buddha that overlooks the entire planet. The giant statue begins pushing its palm towards the planet, creating a massive shockwave as it enters the atmosphere and lighting its hand on fire. 
Wukong sees this and refuses to give up, gathering all his energy onto his body and quickly transforming into King Kong, towering over everything while screaming furiously. The giant palm approaches closer and closer towards the demon, and Wukong tries to lift the Buddha at the last moment, managing to stop the attack as he struggles under the immense weight. However, the demon is no match for the god's power. It gets crushed underneath the massive hand. Wukong is brought into a different dimension, where Tan has finally conquered the demon. He proceeds to take off Duan's ring and binds it onto the monkey's head, making the demon his new disciple. The monk's master tells the man that he's now ready for the journey to the west. He'll obtain the holy scriptures from India, accompanied by the demons who are now his students, so that they may lessen the sufferings of humanity. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time 